Tadpoles shoots a cube up high for the Red Alliance. Over on the blue side of the field, we've got three cubes scored in various levels. 5406 and 6078 going up to balance for their respective alliances. Coming out of the autonomous period, the blue alliance leads 36 to 33. Rubber Rams looking to close that gap as they pick up a purple cone. Tractor technicians deliver one of those red cones up high for the blue alliance. Their focus is on those rainbow links to get them an additional ranking point. Phyllis catching some air as she drives across the blue charging station. Meanwhile, 226 focusing their energy on those purple cubes. Seventy-one ninety-seven out of Jackson delivering a cube to the middle of that blue alliance grid. Fifty-four oh six, our friends from the north pushing a blue cone, and they've got it in position. Rover Rams traversing their charge station with a green cone in their possession. They go up high for their alliance. Tractor technicians trying to deliver the final cone for that Rainbow Link bonus, and it's good. Our Red Alliance is halfway there. Oh, it looks like our little friend Tadpole is stuck in the blue community. That is not a good place to be at this point in the match. 36-55 skidding into the human player station. They've got a cone in their possession. 226 focusing all their energy on those lower ground scores. Each link that is scored is worth five points, whether it's low or high. We're coming down to the last 30 seconds of the match. The Blue Alliance leads 114 to 83. Quick scoring out of our Keltex machine, and they're back to pick up another cube. Bit of a collision between 226 and 6078. Looks like the Robo Rams are not mobile. We've got two robots going up on blue. Keltex hanging out in the park zone. And that's our match.
All right, we've got our scores from that. If you give your attention to the screen, you'll see that the Blue Alliance was victorious. They won by a score of 152 to 114. However, in that match, there was a red card called against 7197 for disabling.